So the next major and very widely used uh, SDLC model is uh, prototyping model. Where see if, if you are developed, this is mainly uh, this is mainly used when you when the user is totally unaware of how the user interface will actually look like. So that is what. See, so this is mainly used during reverse engineering projects. Something like if you are, uh, I was actually working on a, uh, initially uh, during my career in HCL, I was actually working on a reverse engineering project. So, the actual software was in workstation basic, which is already an outdated software and we were asked to develop it as a web application. So, in that stage, when you, the user is not at all used to a web application. So, you should you first of all show him how a web application will actually look like. Uh, uh, before which, uh, before you actually go into the logic and how the screens will traverse, first that person has to get the look and feel of the application. So, that's when this prototyping model will come handy. So, what you can do is, with very minimal use of technology, first you develop a small working prototype of the software and give it to the client, give it to the user. You tell him that from this page, if you go, it will go to this page. This page will look like this, the color will be blue. If, the, if you want the orders to be uh, visible the next day, it will be red in color, something like that. So that he will understand that we will no longer be using the previous product and now we will get acquainted to this product so every day he will uh, you give him small small increments of, you keep adding screens to the prototype and you keep telling him you keep telling him that this is how it will look like this is how you look it will look like so uh, so that he will he will set his mind and he will be comfortable using the screens so after doing this prototyping you can add the exact logic you can use real technology like Java or .NET and add the logic behind it and then do the uh, corresponding database design and add the real time data to it. This is more widely accepted uh, uh, model for uh, people who are doing reverse engineering.